my friends, we are back with Professor Simon, one of our uh, awesome instructors here at Gracie, Ohio Jiu Jitsu Academy. And uh, he's going to share another, our last video, he went over some things to do from the knees, starting mm -hmm. from the knees. This is basically, I guess, a butterfly sweep yeah. that you can kind of modify from the knee position or just yeah. from the butterfly guard mm -hmm. itself and just some modifications. So let's go. Cool. So guys, like the last video, it's the same thing where this is really a takedown from the feet I'm modifying to do from the knee. So me practicing it here, it's going to help my takedowns. Me practicing my takedowns is going to help me here. It's not throwaway stuff that's only for sport jiu-jitsu at the academy, right? So as we go and we shake, we do our normal stuff, I'm here, okay? For the first version, right, what I want to do is put my weight to my left side. As I shift to my left side, my right leg is going to be light, which is going to allow me to step up. I want to be able to get kind of my ankle bone right up against his knee right here, just on the inside. Not going super deep with the hook, but just right here. He's going to get getting pulled into the hook, and I'm fine right here. Now, the second part here, it's going to take some time to get used to. I'm actually going to slide to my butt, and my foot's going to come forward. It's very common when, rather than we're teaching this thing, as a beginner level, guys are trying to kind of throw themselves down like that. It happens a lot, right? But I don't want to do that. Obviously, I'm telegraphing my position. I'm not in a strong base as I'm flopping around there. What I really want to do is focus on sitting on my left hip. And as I do, the left foot comes forward. As you can see right here, I have a little, little concave spot right here. I put it right there, and now I have your knee block. So I'm blocking here, I'm blocking here. I have my grips. Now, if I try and sweep, I don't have anything to sweep just yet. What I need to do is lean back. As I'm leaning back, it's pulling Robin's weight forward and taking his weight off of his butt and his hips over me. As the weight comes over, I'm going to push you with this left leg, I'm going to lift you with the right leg, and I'm going to steer right to Matt. What I'm doing also is I'm hooking my leg inside here, so as Robin rolls over, he's pulling me up. So we'll do it one more time from this angle. Weight to the left. I'm stepping up, I'm blocking, I slide. Right here, I cap that knee, I pull him into me, I elevate, I hook my toes, and I'm right to that. okay? Now, that's the normal way that I learned it. I did it for a long time that way, but there's a couple problems that we hit. So what can happen sometimes is, because I'm learning, this is the grip that I use in beginner class a lot, we teach it to beginners, but what happens is I go, he can post his hand on the mat, right? There's nothing that's stopping Robin from letting go here and posting, and it's gonna stop me from being able to sweep. Another thing that happens, as I go, he sags back his weight. And then no matter how hard I'm pulling and using my arms, I'm trying to get him. He knows if he goes forward, he's going to get swept. So I can't get his weight forward. So I started messing around with it over the years. And what I do is as we shake hands, we do the thing. As he lines up, I don't go back and do a reciprocal grip. Right? Normally, I don't want to be in a reciprocal situation, meaning he has the same grip that I do. I want to put this an advantage to me. So instead of going here, I go cat's paw to the sleeve, and I go under hook to the belt. I want to be palm up here. Okay? So it's very simple. We go here, we shake again, boom, boom, we go here, boop. It's not a complicated thing to get this grip. It's not hard to fight for this grip. He doesn't know what's going on yet. Everything else is going to be the same. I step, I come in. Now, the good part about this is because I have this cat's paw, Robin can't put his arm out there to post. Because I have his hips, even if Robin wants to sit back on his hips, even if my arm is not strong, my arm is not going to change its length. As I fall back, Robin gets pulled forward over my elevation leg. You can't avoid that. So as he goes again, I sweep. Pull. Now, normally what's going to happen here, I'm not going to get Mount I'm lower down in my gripping position, but I am going to get him over, and I'm usually going to end up in top half guard, sometimes full guard, but, you know, mostly half guard. So one more time, we're here, boom, we go in. I grab, boom, boom, and I got my grips. Right. Awesome. Well, if you're having difficulty pulling off the uh, butterfly sweep, give that a try. Uh, really awesome details, especially on the other, other side of it. I can tell it's really hard to stop getting loaded up like that. So give it a try. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you all soon.